Okay, so to run over the personal details again, uh, in the previous screen, mine were blanked out um, because they are, as I say, personal details, correct? So here, you put your name, your country, city, state, zip, your address, your phone number, your email, currency you prefer to work in, and naturally you're going to have to check the uh, I agree to subscribe to your newsletters in order to get the next button to show up. I'll show you how that works. See, you have to you have to click that. Now here you have the opportunity to choose the level of leverage, one to one hundred, meaning basically, if you had a thousand dollars in the account, then you can basically control a forex contract worth a hundred thousand dollars, say the euro dollar, U.S. dollar, for instance. Okay, so here you can adjust the amount of leverage. Here, again, as we stated before, I left this at $5,000. You may want to change that. Uh, it may change for certain types of things I want to demonstrate, such as uh, a larger Forex portfolio using a standard account, a standard uh, size contract. So in that case, it would need to be larger as far as the deposit level is concerned but currently we're leaving this at the five thousand dollar mark so here it is as it stands and you fill in all these things and you continue through and you'll be given a username and uh, two passwords both of those you'll need to record and keep handy okay so that's it for that section I'll close that out and we'll get into some more MetaTrader platform basics. So as you can see we're all set to go here. Down here see the account balance five thousand dollars okay in our virtual account. Now understand that again this is a demo account. This is virtual money not real money. When it's time for you to open a real account you won't be able to do that from the terminal itself as we're looking at it. Uh, you'll have to uh, contact your the appropriate brokerage company, whoever you happen to be trading through, and get things authorized there. Uh, you'll be able to see that um, when you go up here to the um, to the navigator window. It'll show up in accounts down here as the real account. So with that in mind, we just want to stress that Again, this is a demo account, and we are going to learn more about MetaTrader. This is the default screen that comes up in MetaTrader uh, with uh, four different currency pairs, Euro, Dollar, U.S. Dollar. You can click on these and it'll highlight the particular one you're interested in. Great British Pound, U.S. Dollar, Swiss, U.S. Dollar, Swiss Franc. US dollar Japanese yen. You can click on each of these and you can see the highlights change here as well. One of the first things you may want to change would be the look and feel of individual charts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to maximize this so we have one chart here and then I'm going to go down to the properties and here are a number of the common types of things. Uh, you can have it as candlesticks, um, scaling can change, the chart can auto scroll, um, which basically means if you bring it over there, when it ticks, it'll pop back as the price changes so that you'll be right here at the most current price. So let's look back here again. Go to properties and colors let's say we wanted to change a color scheme here's one way to do it you can hit the yellow and black change the color scheme that way that's back to the original size of the chart go back here um, let's change something else green on black we saw now there's black on white okay which some people may prefer as you can see 
you can go through and see the charts that were alongside here by simply going down and clicking on one of the tabs and you'll see that everything here is as it was originally preserved okay so we've got that there okay now let's say we want a more traditional looking kind of a candlestick okay we've got the background is white so we want a bull candle to be green and it looks like green and that we want a bear candle to be red there we go let's see your changes here let's expand that out and there we go completely different look completely different feel more traditional types of candles uh, than you may see as the black and white or the black sort of the hollow and green as we see over here yeah the hollow one and then a different color here so here bullish candles are green and bearish candles are red let's go through an additional modification here okay let's see the grids gray that's going what I really like to do is to change just one additional thing here bar down red bar up black let's make that green so I want to remove that border from around there there we go that's how I want it to look I want to remove the border and just have the pure candle there so remove that black border and this is what we get now we can pop up here see the zoom in and we can click on zoom in and get a closer more bird's eye type of view auto scroll is on you can turn auto scroll off if you want to but auto scrolls on you can see it pops right back when it's on and we're here at the most recent price okay now let's say for instance that this is a template that we would like to save so let's do this first I'm gonna go here I'm going to delete that indicator because I don't want to include the indicator in the template I'm gonna go here to template I'm gonna put save template and I'm gonna give this template a name and I'm gonna call this template simply candlesticks there we go candlesticks.tpl is the file name and I'll save that and away we go so you can see there you've got a nice candlestick template set up and you're back here you could change all these if you wanted to I'll show you exactly how to do that okay okay we'll go here go to template scroll down to your candlestick template we just created this candlesticks template and we'll watch this there we go now if you want to you can create these templates and you can you know you can set them up uh, pretty much any way that you'd like for instance let's say you wanted something what are we gonna add in here bum, 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 bum. we've got template we got all that stuff we could change these as well okay but while we're doing this I don't want you to forget about this because this is important as profiles and so let's save the profile as new profile and you can call it whatever you want um, new profile one and you may want to be a little bit more more descriptive and call it something like uh, candlestick profile for instance save it like that okay 
and I'll show you what the the profiles and templates kind of work in the same way. Here you've got a British pound profile, so you can see that. We can tile all those windows kind of any way you want. You can tile those vertically, horizontally. I guess it thinks that's it. There we go, vertically like this. Cascade the windows so you can choose which one you want. You can also make the selections down here as to which actual screen is on top. So there we go. So let's go back. Let's go back to candlestick profile. Ah, you see it loads right up. And what happens is, as you'll notice, there is our default profile. This is the first one as we load it up. Uh, that's a uh, the default MetaTrader profile. So we're going to pop back over. We're going to select our candlestick profile. Now notice that you can change a lot of things here. If you wanted to change um, and have an additional euro dollar, US dollar chart, you could drag it over. See how it changes it here? It changes everything. A new chart you press this you get an additional chart hold on maybe I'm going too fast but you get an additional chart you click that goes off so if you want this to be you, know, you can change this to pound this is already changed down here so you may not want to change this to anything um, again you want to change this one and you can leave the CCI but for our purposes what we're going to do is uh, I'd like to just have a different template here and we'll go down there we'll go to candlesticks for the time being no in fact we won't go to candlesticks what we're going to do is um, let's just create a for this let's just create a we've got a regular bar chart that's what that's what exactly we'll want here is a regular bar chart but we want the colors to be different uh, we want the uh, we'll go here to a black on white and Okay, I'm liking the look of that. This part doesn't show up that strongly there, but the bar chart is really what I wanted. As you can see, as you scroll in, it gets bigger and bigger. So, okay. I also want to transform this into a bar chart. It's easier for people to visualize it based upon how they see in particular what's best for them. So let's go here and let's go down here, black on white. There we go. So we've got that. And the, as you can, you'll see as you scroll and the bars get thicker a little bit as we go in. So, all right, that looks good. So, so far, so good, right? All righty. Now, let's go through the, some of the basics again. Uh, let's say we want a plain bar chart. So what I'm going to do here is go to the indicators list on this one and I'm going to delete that back the indicator because I just want a plain old bar chart right here so I'm gonna go here right click I'm gonna scroll down the template I'm going to save template and I'm going to name the template something very simple bar chart uh, and let's give it a bar chart one in case we want to place one in here that's a bar chart with a particular indicator on it as well so I'll pop down here and I'll go to template pop in bar chart and there we go 
Okay, so what I'm going to do here is also the profile. Let's go to default. Okay, see our default there. Now let's pop back and go to candlestick. And as you can see, the changes we made were updated automatically. So as we change everything up here, the top two to candlesticks, we changed the bottom two to bar charts. When we went back to profile, it's all saved for us. So that's great. So you can save as many profiles as you'd like. Uh, you want to go through and change things around. You can as often as you'd like. If you exclude that chart, uh, you want to add an additional chart, you, you can always do that. Again, go up here and say you want to add the US dollar Canadian dollar. Bam, there you go. Now say you want it to be a candlestick chart. You go down here, you go to your t templates, you click on candlesticks, you're all set. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. Auto scroll brings you out to the uh, most recent price and there you are. Again, that's just an example. So, But you've got a number of ways you can do things. If, for instance, let's just say, for instance, that you would like to set this up and let's have a euro dollar, US dollars set up and let's have these set up in varying time frames. So here I can drag this, you know, all I do all I'm doing is right clicking, dragging over to the chart, letting it go. Right clicking, dragging over to the chart, letting it go. Um, if you wanted to go straight candlesticks on all these, you could do that too. So let's set that up. Candlesticks. candlesticks. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set this. There's two different ways to change the, the period of what you're looking at and we're going to get into more tweaks in the the very next video so uh, I'll get back with you momentarily. We'll take a look at how to set up some even more interesting types of templates and profiles as we move along.